So uh, a loving challenge here is the entrepreneurial world, the, the masculine, you know, the yang approach to life is go, 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 right? Yeah. Faster, the better. <laughs> but in reality, faster is not always better because if you, so can you speak on finding the rhythm that's aligned, congruent to what's happening internally as well as externally? So you, you get in harmony rather than rushing the song. Does that make sense? Yeah, you're, ta you're talking about how to find your tempo mm -hmm. and how to see if you're in sync. Mm -hmm. So there's two things, right? So right now, CK, you and I, for example, you and I are in a state of harmony right now. We have the two of us looking at each other. We're in our respective studios. We're in a spirit of collaboration. And our number one goal is to impart value to your wonderful audience, right? That's my, my purpose here is to support your audience and people that are behind Noble Warrior. And so in the spirit of supporting where I am, where we are, the first thought is there's nothing more important than the present moment. That's like the first principle. In other words, living in the moment, you know, Eckhart Tolle, the power of now, he talks about that a lot. But most people will tell you that if you can be as present as possible, then you're living life as richly as you can. So in this moment, 12.30 p.m., November 4th, 2020, Pacific Standard Time, I have the honor and privilege to be with my new friend and colleague, C.K. Lin. And my goal in this moment is to focus on nothing else but being with you and not thinking about anything else and thinking about what tools. So um, being very aware of being in your body, in your mind, with the person in front of you, that's principle number one. Now you speak to me in a very, you have a warm, low, direct, and, and very clear voice and a Thank beautiful you. smile, I might add. Thank you. Thank so you. when I see your energy, CK, I get all lit up and I don't speak to you quickly. I don't, you know, if I, my next call, I'm gonna be talking to some people from Mexico, right? Ellos hablan muy español. Mira, yo soy de México, vamos a hablar. Y vamos a hablar de una cosa que estamos presentando en, en, you know, it's Espanol, it's Spanish, right? It's moving quickly. There's a certain energy of the Latin energy. So I become a chameleon and my tempo is faster. Mm. But in this broadcast, we're speaking at a rhythm where there can be space between my words. And in the space, I can dip into my intention in creating a slower tempo. And by creating a slower tempo, we create space between our words. And by creating space between our words, we allow the listener to hear their own thoughts. And that's when I believe we can connect at the deepest level. When, when we're living in what is often referred to as namaste consciousness, right? The light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. Right now, that's an ancient word, a Sanskrit word. Right again, we we're, we go back to India and we go back to China, and these are the the most the oldest you know five thousand year old cultures on our planet. So and include let's not leave out Africa, but that's another discussion. But they are ancient cultures, and these cultures have certain golden rules that we can apply in today's world. So. And by the way, music is way older than all those cultures. <laughs> music is the oldest language in the world. You know, we say China and India are 5,000 years old. Well, CK, they found a flute in Germany a couple years ago, a flute. It's made out of a vulture's bone and mm. they, car they carbon dated the fossil of the bone. Mm. It's, they, they, they all concluded that it's 43,000 years old. Wow. So think about that, right? Uh, the, the written word and the spoken word, about 5,000 years that we've been using the written word and coming up with words for language. But music, people were blowing on flutes 40, at least 43,000 years, probably much more. They were drumming, they were singing, they were playing, they were pounding, they were yelling, they were screaming, but they were using some form of harmonic resonance to communicate. And music is a, is a system that is as ancient as anything we've ever seen in terms of communication.